So just before we get started, um, the glue gun, uh, obviously melted glue is very hot and the tip of the glue gun is hot. So you need to be mindful of that. So when we're building bridges, uh, there's all kinds of different bridges and you know that just by all the bridges that you've driven over in your life. Um, they all have different structures and different ways um, that they carry the weight, the load um, that they're built, that they're designed to, to build. So this one that we're going to be building today, I think that I'm going to do a kind of an arch bridge. And I do have, there's a PowerPoint. Uh, we'll probably post a link up to that so you can see some different bridges and some pictures of different bridges around British Columbia. Hi there, my name's Renee, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bridge using just spaghetti, regular spaghetti, uh, and a glue gun, and some glue sticks. Okay, let's get to it. So I just started working on the bridge, and there's a couple of things that I should tell you. One is it's much harder to do this by yourself than working in teams, which is what we normally do. Um, so you just have to be really patient and careful with your glue dabs and holding and all that stuff. If you can do it with brother or sister or with one of your parents, um, that's great. Uh, and you should do that. So I've just built the first two beams that will form the, uh, the support for the main deck. And I'm, as you can see, they're about eight centimeters or so apart. And the reason I'm doing that is because it has to be wide enough for my load, which my one kilo box of salt to be able to fit on there. Spaghetti, as you know, when, when, if you try to put a little bit of weight in the middle of it, it's just going to snap on you. But if you can find a way to pull on the spaghetti, like if you take a piece of spaghetti now, and just pull, try to pull it apart. You see how strong that is. I cannot pull that spaghetti apart. Um, the other, that's called putting it in tension. The other thing is if you try to compress it, you try to push your fingers together like that, you also can't really break it. So it's very strong this way. So the trick of bridge building with spaghetti is to try and figure out ways to use that strength in tension and compression um, to your advantage. I'm going to be building um, kind of an arch structure like this um, and uh, trusses sometimes those are called box trusses. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it like that exactly. I'll just start building it and see how how stiff I can make it so that it will hold the weight um, and we'll yeah we'll just keep trying. So I'm just uh, starting to build the upper part of the bridge now. Uh, this part is a little bit tricky if you're trying to do this by yourself. Uh, just holding the pieces and gluing. Um, so if at all possible, way easier to do this with somebody else. Basic shape is done. Uh, what I need to do now is test it um, with gradually increasing weights. See where it twists, where it moves and strengthen it uh, accordingly. There is my bridge so far. As you can see, it is 50 centimeters long. That's the span. The bridge is a little bit longer, so it can sit on those two piers. Uh, it's pretty much ready to test. I'm gonna try it first with a 200 gram weight and see what happens. There we go, 200 grams. No deflection so far. And here we go with 500 grams. And you'll notice that the bridge is moving a bit, a bit more than I would like. So I gotta stiffen that up a little bit. So here we go with 500 grams. What happens with that? Hmm, okay. 500 grams seems to be holding pretty well. A little bit of movement. So the bridge is all done. I'm going to weigh it now and uh, see how much this thing weighs. There we go, 78 grams. Here's my one kilo weight going on there. And 
Presto. 78 gram bridge is carrying a thousand gram weight. Just before I wrap up, I just wanted to give you a little close up on the bridge. And you'll notice that I had to, you may, remember I mentioned that uh, there was some difficulty in doing this by yourself. So some of the, um, some of the uprights were um, not, not plumb, not straight up and down exactly. So there was a bit of a twist in the bridge and I had to fix that, uh, as you can see, by putting in a little extra. But uh, overall, pretty happy with that design. Yeah, kind of neat.